Hi friends, welcome to Yes Learners. In this video, we are going to study the soils in India. This video will be useful for all competitive exams conducted by UPSC, SSC, IBPS and other public service commissions. For more videos, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications. First of all, we can look at what soil is. Soil is a mixture of rock particles and humus. What is pedology? Pedology is the study of soils. Study of soils is known as pedology. Indian Institute of Soil Science was established on 16th April 1988 at Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh. Central Soil Cyanity Research Institute is in Karnal. It was established in 1969. Soil and Land Use Survey was established in 1958. Its headquarters is in Delhi. It deals with soil survey and land resource mapping in the country. There are various types of soils found in India and the formation of soil is primarily influenced by major sectors such as climate, natural vegetation and droughts. Indian Council of Agricultural Research has divided Indian soils into the following groups. Alluvial soil Black soil, red soil, laterite soil, forest and mountain soil, desert soil, saline and alkaline soil, and peaty or marshy soil. Alluvial soil. Alluvial soil is formed by the deposits of the sediments brought by rivers. Most of the rivers originate from Himalayas and bring along high amount of sediments with them. The soil is made up of particles like silt, sand and clay. It has adequate amount of phosphoric acid, potash and lime. Alluvial soil is of two types. Old alluvium is known as bunger and new alluvium is called Khadar. Alluvial soil is the most important type of soil found in India. It covers about 40% of the total land. It is found in the northern plains beginning from Punjab to West Bengal and Assam. It is also found in deltas of different rivers such as Krishna, Godavari, Kaveri and Mahanadi in peninsular India. Alluvial soil is highly fertile and is light grey in colour. Crops mainly cultivated include wheat, rice, maize, sugarcane, pulses, oil seed, etc. Black soil Black soil is made up of volcanic rocks and lava. Black soil is also known as rigor. Black soil is also known as black cotton soil as cotton is an important crop which is grown in this type of soil. Black soil is rich in calcium carbonate, potash, lime and magnesium carbonate but has poor phosphorus content. It is mostly found in areas such as Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra. It is also found in states like Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka. Black soil is extremely fine and clayey and has the capacity to hold a lot of moisture. It becomes sticky in the rainy season and develops cracks when dry. Black soil is good for producing cotton, oil seeds, wheat, linseeds, millets and tobacco. Red soil. This type of soil is formed as a result of weathering of 
metamorphic and igneous rocks. The red color of soil comes from the high percentage of iron content. It is rich in potash content but lacks phosphate, humus and nitrogen content. The red soil is found in regions such as Tamil Nadu, Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, Odisha, some parts of Karnataka and Southeast Maharashtra. Laterite soil The term laterite is derived from the word later which means brick. Laterite soil is found in those regions of the country which receive heavy rainfall with alternate dry and wet period, particularly near the coasts. This kind of soil becomes soft when wet and hardens when dry. In these climatic conditions, leaching of soil takes place, which is a process in which fertile portion of the soil get washed away by heavy rains. Laterite soil is formed from the decomposition of rocks and contain iron oxide which gives them red or pink color. This type of soil is normally deficient in nitrogen and is poor in lime content. It is an acidic soil. Laterite soil is found in several parts of the country mainly western and its eastern guts, Vindhyas, Malwa Plateau and Satpuras. The states where these type of soils can be found are West Bengal, Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Meghalaya, Assam, Odisha, to name a few. Laterite soil supports crops like rice, ragi, sugarcane, rubber, coconut, tea, coffee and cashew nuts. Forest and Mountain Soil Mountain soils are formed due to the accumulation of organic matter which is derived from the forest growth and are generally shallow in depth and immature. This type of soil is rich in humus but has poor lime, potash and phosphorus content. It is generally sandy and has grey wells. It is mainly found in Himalayan region, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Assam and also in Peninsula, India, Eastern Ghats. Maize, barley, wheat and temperate fruits are grown in mountain soil in the Himalayan region. Plantation crops like tropical fruits, coffee, tea, or spices in states of South India like Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka are undertaken in this type of soil. In the drier areas or deciduous forest belt, deep soil, brown in color and rich in humus is found. It is very good for orchard crops. Desert Soil the desert soil is found in regions with low rainfall in arid and semi-arid climate. The phosphate content in the soil is high when the nitrogen content is low. Desert soil lacks humus and moisture and the water content in the soil is fulfilled through irrigation only. Desert soil is found mostly in areas of Rajasthan, extending to Ran of Kutch, and also in some areas of Haryana and Punjab. Cacti and shrubs are the permanent vegetation which can be seen in the deserts as it is very well adapted to living without moisture for long periods of time. Also, when it rains, the presence of phosphates and nitrates make desert soil fertile and the desert blooms as dormant seeds wake up to life. Saline and alkaline soil 
There are many mineral based and undecomposed contents inside the earth. Due to weathering, they release certain minerals such as magnesium, sodium, sulfurous acid and calcium salts. Some of the released salts get carried by rivers and mix in subsoils of the plains making the soils saline and alkaline. This type of soil can be found in Uttar Pradesh and Punjab and also in some parts of Gujarat. PT and marshy soil Accumulation of high amount of organic matters in the soil in humid regions results in the formation of PT soils. These type of soils constitute about 10 to 40 percentage of the organic matter and also a reasonable amount of soluble salts. PT soils are heavy, black in color and have high acidic content. They are low in phosphate and potash content. PT and marshy soils are found in a few districts of Kerala. On the other hand, marshy soils are found in coastal areas of some states such as Tamil Nadu, Bihar, Almora district of Uttarakhand and Sundarbans of West Bengal. This video is share मत्ते PSC पाठ भागनगल डे वीडियो गल काई यस लाना सिंदे YouTube चैनल सब्सक्राइब चेगा। Thank you for watching this video.